Okay, um... Hmm. Let's make a butt. I'm not gonna teach much about action script. I'll just teach you a little bit button making. Okay. Let's move this frame back. So it's everywhere. Um, okay. Button. Let's say we want our button to look like, you know, something like a button. That might work. Make a circle smiley face now. He's happy. And he wants you to click it. Okay, here you can either hit F8 or Control. Ah. That's a good thing. Control. Guess what? Duh. Control. <laughs> Convert to symbol. Or, like I said, hit F8. And since we want this to be a button, we check button. And we'll name this play. No, no, we won't name it play. We'll name it happy face. Okay. So it's a button. We named it happy face. Okay. Good. <laughs> I messed up. Control. Convert symbol. Button. Happy face. Yeah, I accidentally didn't click the happiness of the happy face. So anyway, we have our happy face button. And as you can see, you can't just select some of it. It's a whole movie clip. If you want to go into it, you double click it. And then it'll lag a bit for you. There. Now we're inside of the button. We can do whatever we want with it. But let's make it um, play, or let's make it play the, you know, the whole thing. Up, down, over, hit. I'm not going to go into hit much, or at all. Up is where it's just sitting there, and it's being happy. Over. Let's make a keyframe, not blank keyframe, because we want it to be pretty much the same. We'll make it move a little bit up. Like you're about to click it. And then down, make another keyframe. And we'll move it down. Up is where it is sitting there. Over is when you hover over, like, where the person who's playing this hovers their mouse over the button. And down is when they click down on it. And then you can have it do whatever. So let's see what it looks like. Okay. But first, let's try to play it. Uh, it doesn't give you enough time to even look at the button because it just flashes away. To get rid of this, we're going to do our first bit of action script. Um, let's click the dot layer, I guess. And go down. You see this little arrow here? Click it. And here are actions remember we're in we click that frame not anything in the frame we just click the frame and right here this is where our actions go we're gonna put bear with me now it's pretty complicated that okay um that will make it stop everything. It'll not go. So now we can see what it looks like. 
Yeah, it's not going anymore. It stopped on that frame. And there's our button. I click it. It does, you know, what we made it do. When it's up, it's like that. Over, down, up, over, down. Okay. But we still want to play the rest of the dot moving around. Like I said, I hit enter to do that. So, um, what we do, we highlight the strappy face man, go back into actions, and this is actually more complex. It's still not complex at all. I'm not an action script master at all. But here is how to make a button work on release. Or you can just, you know, it'll be helpful and show that. And that shows when you release the mouse after you click it. And then, to show the actions, you put curly brackets. That's shift and then the brackets. Um, go to, that's both lowercase, and play, A and P are capitalized. And we're going to go to frame 2. And then undo the curly bracket thing. So, on release, after you click it, go to, and then play, frame 2. That's what that means. Let's check for errors. No errors. Okay, um, let's try to play it again. No, let's try to play it again. There we go. It worked. And it just loops back to the first frame. Uh, I hope you learned something from this. You probably didn't if you already know something about Flash, or if you're already good at Flash, you probably didn't learn anything. But, if you're a beginner, I hope it helped. Bye.